Modeling fractions is an important skill in third grade. One of the ways that we model fractions is by using fraction bars. So let's draw some fraction bars. We'll start by drawing one whole. This is the whole thing. If this is a candy bar, it's the entire candy bar. Now let's draw another fraction bar just below that. And we talked about this in class. And it's important if we're comparing fraction bars that they are the same exact size. So let's divide our whole into halves. So I'll find the middle, draw my middle line, and then label. There's one half and one half over there. If I were to add those up, just like we did on the homework, one half plus one half equals two halves. And that equals the whole thing, one whole. OK, what if I want to show thirds? I'll draw another fraction bar. Again, being sure that it's exactly the same size. And the easy way to find thirds is to start off in the middle and then go a little bit to the left and draw my line, then find the middle again, go a little bit to the right, draw another line, and boom, equal thirds. So there's one third, there's another third, and there's another third. So let's add those up, one third plus one third plus one third equals three thirds and that equals again the whole thing or one whole so I bet you know what fraction is coming next let's draw our whole first our entire candy bar and we'll divide it up let's divide this one up into fourths so we'll find the middle and draw our middle line and then we can divide each half in half And now, of course, we need to label. So there's one fourth, another fourth, another fourth, and another fourth. If I'm adding those up, one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth equals four fourths. And I bet you see where this is going. That equals the whole thing, or one whole. Next, let's draw another hole. And let's divide this one up into six this time. So since six is an even number, we can start by finding the middle. We can start by finding one half. And let's draw our one half line. And now I need to divide each half into thirds. So let's find the middle of our first half and go a little bit to the left of where half is and draw a line and a little bit to the right of where that one half is and draw another line. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we'll find the middle and then go a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right. And look at that, perfect sixths. So let's label. And if I were to add those up, one sixth plus 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 one sixth equals six sixths or one whole. Because if I have six pieces out of six, I have the whole candy bar. I've got the whole thing. So that equals one whole. All right, let's compare one more. So first, I'll start by drawing my hole. And again, I'll make sure that it is exactly the same as the one above it that I'm comparing to. And find the middle. And let's say, let's go with eighths this time. So I found my middle. 
Now I need to divide each one of those sides into four. So let's find the middle of the first half and draw a line. And now I can find the middle of each one of those. And I've divided my half into four. Now I need to do the same thing to the other side. So find the middle, draw a line, and find the middle of each one of those pieces and draw a line. And now I've got eight nice, neat, equal pieces. So let's label. It takes a little longer to label eighths. Okay, so let's add those up. I've got one eighth plus 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 one more eighth <laughs> equals eight eighths. And if I have eight pieces out of eight, I've got the whole thing. Eight eighths equals one whole. All right. Thank you for watching. Hey, Miss Braley, do you know what king liked fractions the best? Why, that would be Henry VIII.